Hello everyone, this is Doug Griggs with PDS Equipment. I'm here today to make a video to show you guys how to do texture on your Mamaki UV printer. I'm excited to share this with you and I hope you find it helpful. So if you'd like to learn some new skills, let's hang out and learn how to do it. So this is my setup of an illustrator of creating texture from a JPEG. This is basically a photograph of an old sign you know, with old cracked paint on it. It does really, really well, and it's a simple setup. So that's why I chose this image to, to show you. I do this a lot for trade shows, and it shows really, really well. So what we want to do is we'll select that image, and our image trace window should open up. If not, you know, just, just go to your image trace window, get it opened up. Um, this one works really well, single color, black and white. If you've got some presets here, you might need to do three or six colors. Typically, one of these two presets will get you there. The reason you might need to do more than one color is because we're trying to get the highs and lows separated. So if you've got an area like in here where you perceive it to be low, okay, and it turns out to be the same color as this that you perceive it to be high, You'll need to trace it to more color so that we can select those later on in raster link and in color replacement and make the right adjustments so that we can have some high areas and some low areas to create this texture. All right, so this is going to be a vector texture when we trace it. You know, we're we're taking a we're taking a raster image and making it vector. So when we when we do this, it's going to build it in a straight up you know straight up and down line. You know, there's not going to be any kind of rolling of the texture like for a brush stroke or something like that so there's another way to do that and i'll do another video for it but this is this is a really quick simple effective method for creating texture out of a jpeg or even an eps file i mean you can use the same method to create the texture from an eps file um you just need to make sure that you got enough colors to create the effect you want So what we'll do is, is this is going to be a black and white, so t single color works fine for this. All right, so there we go. So all these black areas that you see, that's, that's going to be raised up, and all the white areas are going to be my lowest areas, all right? But for this to work in raster link, what we need to do is, is we need to go to document color mode and make sure we're in CMYK. Uh, an RGB, you cannot color replace an RGB file in, in raster link. And to get the texture, we need that color replacement. So, and when I save something, when I save these for texture, I typically save it as an EPS file. And a little trick is to use the artboard. Um, so, Using the artboard will make sure that whenever we print our JPEG back over the top of this EPS file, that they, they both line up or in, or in registration. All right, We don't want it to be bigger, smaller, shifted left, shifted right, up or down. We want it to land perfectly on top of it. So the artboard, using the artboard will do that for us. And just save it as an EPS. So this is the raster link setup of this texture file. Here's the EPS, that's gonna be my texture, and here's the JPEG that's going back over the top of it. So we select that, we select the EPS file, and we're gonna come here to color replace, select color replace. You can select the color in the image, or if it's a spot or a CMYK, you can select it out of the list. We're gonna replace that color with 100% of CMYK and both whites. That will give us 600% coverage, You have to hit apply. You'll know you've replaced it because you'll have an output value displayed right here. And you've, you've got a tab here for blink indication. If you've got multi colors and you want to see where that color is at in that image, it'll toggle on and off for you. So next we're going to come here to the quality tab. And we are going to select, set this to two overprints. So well, that's telling the machine to print twice in the same spot. So we had 600% ink coverage, 
to over prints, that'll give us 1,200% coverage. I'm doing this on the 7151 plus two, and I'm running this at 600 by 600.
what we're looking at, this is the texture only. This is the EPS file. That's the texture only. 600% ink coverage, two overprints, and you can, you can physically fill it. Now, don't move that board. Don't move your substrate. Leave it exactly where it is, and we're going to print the JPEG back over the top. Well guys, we did it. This was the this was the end result of our work. Some pretty dramatic texture there, you know, with a few steps in Illustrator and knowing how to set it up in raster link. It's not not too hard. This is uh this is one I've done on styrene, but I've the one I take to trade shows. It's actually on a piece of wood. On a piece of I guess you would call it melamine. You know, it's a it's a laminated piece of MDF. Um, you know, and what's cool about this is you could you could do something like this with a wood grain texture, and then you could print a family photograph right back over the top of it. And you know, the photograph could be smaller, so you could see some of the wood grain hanging out, and you'd be able to see the wood grain through the picture. You know, it, it'll, it'll look like it's printed on black walnut or cherry or, you know, an old piece of barn wood, whatever, whatever you choose to do. I mean, the, the possibilities for this is unlimited. And another place where this really comes in handy and a market you may not have thought of is art reproduction. You know, we do have, there are people out there using UV printers for certified art reproduction. You know, you can, you can take a piece of art and a photo of a piece of art and replicate the texture in that art. So my name's Doug Griggs, I'm with PDS Equipment. My cell phone is 615-519-2978.
at 615-519-2978. My email is real simple, doug at pdsequipment.com. Thank you guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me.